Hey guys, uh, before we get into today's video, I want to show you the setup that I shared with you like in this uh, channel, the CHF JPY setup that I shared with you previously. Then as you can see guys, this is the 22% trade so far and then we haven't hit like the 4 hour imbalance as you can see, let's move to a higher time frame which is the four hours so that you can see like the imbalance that I'm talking about. So as you can see, we have this imbalanced area. We had this first break of structure around this point, And then we're expecting some buying opportunities up until we tap this level. And then we look for those further continuations to the downside. And then on the hour, let's check the hour. So on the hour, this is where we get to uh, refine our entries as you can see we had this break of structure so it's, it means that we are trading like the substructure to initially fill this imbalanced area so that we can get like those selling opportunities just like this guys so i was trading the substructure as you can see here and then this is the supply fail around here and then this is the right uh, demand that i was using and then you can see that i have refined the entry on the five minute time frame and then i was using the same concept the imbalance uh uh price action as you can see here we had this uh demand area and then we had this uh little imbalance around this point and i can just illustrate it with this type of thingy then we have this imbalance and then as you can see on the entry we initially tapped the 50 percent mark with a wick and wick creation and then as you can see we just plummeted to the upside uh giving us that 20 percent movement 22 percent movement as you can see here i mean guys i'm still working on refining each and everything that i'm using it's not that I, i'm done with everything i'm not done i'm trying to refine i'm trying to uh include some concepts that are out there on smart money and then make sure that I'm catering for each and everything. As you can see, this is 20%, uh, 22% move. And then, yeah, guys, let's get into today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you enjoyed the content. Subscribe, click the notification bell. You'll get more quality content from me, guys. Hi hey guys, welcome back to another interesting video. And then on today's video, we are going to look at GBP AUD, of which is a trade that I took recently. And then uh, moving to a higher time frame, that is where you'll see like the overall structure, why I decided to, took, to take this entry. Let's look at the weekly, just because uh, the formation was like on the weekly chart. As you can see here, we had uh, price action pushing to the downside. As you can see, we had this as our substructure and then this as our overall structure. As you can see, we have been pushing to the downside. And then we came to this area here of which we created a lower low. And then we created a higher high around this point here. As you see, we had the first break of structure around this point. And then we had a higher high around this area here. This is the lower high, and then we had the lower low around here, and then we had the break of structure creating the higher high. That is where uh, I decided to look for an entry for a buy on the lower time frame. So uh, switching to a daily time frame, that is where you see like the clear break of structure around this point. And then we had like a few imbalances around this area here, of which the market came to fill. As you can see, we had this imbalanced area here. And we had like some liquidity around this area. And then looking to the lower time frame, you'll see that we had this push to the upside, a push to the upside, and then we had this as our uh trend that we should be focusing on. As you can see here, we have lower highs and lower lows to the downside. And then on the lowest time frame, you'll see that we had a nice break of structure. I think on the four hour i think it was on the four hour yeah on the four hour as you can see we had this formation around here in the form of a break of structure after that break of structure we came back to this area here this area here after getting this break of structure came to this area here and then that is where i decided to refine the entry on the m15 and then as you can see on the m15 this is where i decided to take the entry on the 50% mark as you can see here and then my stop loss was just below this area here clearing this lows around this point for about the overall target was around this area just because I saw an imbalance 
but looking left on the hour chart, on the hour chart, you'll see that this is a high value area around here. This is a high value area around this point here, of which it's very important. As you can see, we had like a break of structure. If you look left, a break of structure, we had this area here of supply and we tapped that 50% mark and then we plummeted to the downside. So that is why uh, the entry didn't hold up up until the overall 90%. Uh, so what I could have done better on the setup was to uh, push my stop loss just below this area here, just below that area. And then my overall target would be a very high uh, RR for about, uh, I think it was around 12%, uh, 17% around here, 23%. So I should have used like a tight stop loss. But as I always say, I'd rather be in a trade and like being stopped out like prematurely in the markets. So uh, that is it for today's video, guys. And then I'll see you on another one. Hope you enjoyed this one. And then drop a comment if you enjoyed this type of videos whereby I share the setups that I took. Uh, even though like I don't share like uh, practically like results just because I think it's too much for me to share like results and all of that stuff i don't need like validation from anyone i'll be just sharing like the setups you'll be learning from the setups and if you are not if you are learning uh too much on this channel please drop a like each and every time you watch my video before uh you click play click the like button subscribe click the notification bell do all the good stuff and then share the video guys you must share the video each and every time share the video so that we can reach more people so that we can grow this channel this is not only my channel this is also your channel as if you were um as if you were in this uh nice channel that i created i created for every one of you guys each and every one of you 2.5k one 2.5k all of you guys a whole lot guys each and every one of you is part of this community we are learning together like i said in this uh feed, in this channel description i'm sharing my journey guys and then whoever i teach whoever uh lands in my vip group is learning is enjoying the journey with me and then if you're joining like my vip group then it means you enjoy uh the journey that i'm taking and then you want to ride along with me so yeah guys i'll see you on another video to subscribe and click the notification bell so bye brightly now i'll see you on another one